Okay, so now that we've uh, gone ahead and installed Headway on WordPress, I'm going to show you how easy it is to go ahead and configure or use the visual editor to make sure that the site looks quite nice. Now, as standard, this is how the website will look. Now, you do have a tab that shows up at the top here by default, which says Enter Visual Editor. However, I'm going to show you how to enter that through the back end panel. You can go ahead and click on that if you like, but using the WP admin area, you're simply going to make sure that your headway option here, which will be new, this will have showed up once you've installed the theme, and then you can just click on visual editor. So now we'll give that a moment to, to load, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do some basic editing to the site. Now the difference between using the visual editor on headway compared to other themes such as thesis, well, it means that you don't have to go in and do code editing, anything to do with PHP or anything to do with using HTML or CSS. Sure, you can go ahead and use CSS if you like, but it makes it a lot easier. Now, there is a little tutorial video which will show up here. However, I will skip this for the moment and we'll go through the basics. So this is the visual editor. Now, the basics here is that you will open up the design editor and then you can hover over certain elements and that will actually show you, it will pick the CSS within the theme whereabouts it is. So, for example, we can click on Headway Theme Biz and then that will allow us to edit the header site name. This will go ahead and edit it automatically using CSS. You won't have to enter any code. So, for example, let's say that we want to change the, te the actual color of that text. We'll click in the box here where it's got the color and say I want to have that stand out as a red. Just simply choose red. And that is how easy it is. It's quite simple. And you can do this across the board depending on certain areas. For example, post content, you can change the font as well. I've just clicked on that, so I'll change it to Arial Narrow. That doesn't look quite good, so I might go ahead and just use Arial for that. You can also turn up the actual size, so we've made it a bit larger, but just remember, if you're doing that, make sure to adjust the line height accordingly so that text doesn't overflow. The other thing with Headway, which is quite good, if I just minimize everything here, and I use this button right here, you can see that everything here is centered. Now, some people may want to utilize what is called a fluid header or a fluid body and so on and so forth to make it so that regardless of the screen size, that this will actually stretch across. It looks quite nice when you do it this way and you probably see this in a couple of the examples that will be on this page. So let's go ahead and just open that again. If we head into site configuration, you can, you've got up here the option for header, footer and body. Let's just have a look at the header for a moment. Under you can all, you also have the option to upload your own header image which will replace this entire area up here with an image. But for the moment let's go to header options and you've got a few options here such as you can choose to not show the tagline and so on and so forth. Navigation as well you can remove that and breadcrumbs which is applicable in pages. Now down here you can also change the navigation position from left to right if you choose to, but what I'm going to be talking about here is the idea of having a fluid header. So I'm just going to click that and you'll see that the header went all the way up to the very top and if I just bring that back, you'll see that that now stretches all the way across. You can also do the same with the footer. If we just click on the footer and just click on fluid footer and then now if we just uh, bring that in you can see here that now the footer stretches all the way across the same as the header what this will allow <clears throat> is for you to create backgrounds that stretch all the way across the page it just looks much nicer and of course you will need to change certain elements such as the color of the body here so if we just have a look in the design editor you might want to click on the body here or if it doesn't actually select that then you can go ahead and just select body Oops, I accidentally selected the wrapper. And just to make sure that you've actually selected the right place, just click on the Call This Element Out button, and you can see there it will actually show you what it is that you've selected. So in this case, I just want to turn that white, and there we go. So in most cases, it is as simple as just simply clicking and then editing. You can also do a few very, very handy things, such as, for example, a lot of people don't like the idea of having navigation underneath the header. They would like to have that above. That's fine. What you can actually do is you can go into the navigation, click on Enable beside Modify Navigation, and then you can just simply drag and drop. And the same applies for your widgets at the side here. Now, 
By default, this will have a widget panel here, and these are referred to as leafs. So you'll see in more detail now exactly how that works. So by, drop, uh, by opening up the drop down menu for leafs, simply click on add, and then you've got a list here of different leafs that you can add. Let's say, for example, you would like to add in some uh, HTML or PHP, if you do know those languages. Just simply click add, and then that will add that widget directly underneath the widgets one here. You can also choose to go ahead and delete those as well, and you can also resize, make them of a fluid height, and so on and so forth. And of course, goes without saying that you can also arrange the leafs. So in the Utilities tab under Leafs, just click Enable, and you can go ahead and just pick those up, drop and drag to rearrange if you do like. The opportunity is real. Uh, the the potential really is endless with this theme. You can also go ahead, for example, with this text HTML PHP area. You can just simply click on the pencil icon, and then you can go ahead and enter your own text HTML or PHP in this area here. You can also enable dynamic content, and you can also opt to not show the title as well. So. A lot of opportunities there. And of course, with this widgets area, when you add widgets in the back end of WordPress under the widgets area, so for example, I will just load this up just to demonstrate. So in the back end here, underneath appearance and widgets, any widgets that you choose to add in this area, they will automatically be applied to that widget. So in this little area here. And to make things a lot easier, if you click on the pencil here, you can also go in and you can completely rename that sidebar so that you'll have a much easier to read reference when it comes to the back end panel here. There are a lot more things that you can do with the headway theme in the back end. This is just the bare basics, the bare drop and drag, the kind of things that people who don't know too much coding won't really understand. There are a lot of other things that you can use, such as underneath tools, you do have a live CSS editor, which I will demonstrate in another video how to go ahead and use this, and a few easier ways that you can go ahead and use that, uh, especially if you don't know CSS. There is a very easy way to do it, and I'll explain that in a, in a new video. And again, if you haven't had the chance to download Headway, head over to headwaytheme.biz forward slash buy, and you can go ahead and purchase your own copy of Headway, so that then these tutorials will make a lot more sense. It comes highly recommended, and it basically, in a nutshell, this theme will allow you to create a professional looking blog or website with minimum effort even if you have no idea what you're doing when it comes to web design or coding. Thanks for watching.